What do I say? I don't know. I'm not ready. I don't know. We're recording. We're live. <laughs> so, hello, everyone. To it's under the covers, under the book covers. There we go. <laughs> this is our newest podcast or video show that we're starting up. And I'm William Heinrich. I am one of the well, I'm the academic outreach and instruction specialist uh, here at the college. I do a little bit of everything. I manage the social media accounts, I design tutorials, I help with the uh, library's website. Uh, I have my hands in a lot of cookie baskets. And my co-host uh, is Anna Naman. Hello. Uh, <laughs> I am an academic outreach librarian and I help develop information resources and I promote and support library instruction and library liaison outreach. And I've been here for almost eight months now, so it's pretty exciting. <laughs> Still kind of new, um, but if I haven't reached out to you at all, get ready, faculty, because I'm coming for you. you. You've done really well uh, getting adjusted to, <laughs> uh, I don't know if us, but the uh, library as a whole, coming from the teaching background. Uh, I think you can appreciate not having to deal with you know, people yelling at you like, Miss, <laughs> Miss N. <laughs> oh. No, I would do the, my name's Naman, and it sounds like ramen. So then they would call me Miss Ramen. Or sometimes I would say, you could also think of it as, nah, man. And they'd be like, oh, nah, man. So I had that going for me. <laughs> Works. Uh, so. Kind of moving along, uh, the reason why we started thinking about doing this podcast, not, not really a podcast, but that's audio only, uh, it's more of a web show series, is with the outbreak of the coronavirus, it's uh, a little bit harder now than to get like our, our voice out there, try and get the news out there. We can't physically, you know, we can have people come into the library, uh, but it's really hard to get our word out if there's hardly anyone coming to visit us and social media can only do so much uh, i can only make so many means to try and get you know to get people to come over uh, but it's been rough and so we thought what's another kind of easily digestible way of uh, some sort of media content that hopefully people can you know listen to and enjoy so we thought, why not this? Um, if you feel the same way on it, or if it's just been terrifying and you never want to do this again. It is terrifying, <laughs> but I will do this again. I do have to say, though, your meme game is quite strong. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're, um, we want to be able to provide information about you know, the library, what we're doing. Uh, any upcoming program and events, uh, new library databases, maybe we'll talk about new memes, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of weird to talk about new books because I don't want to like, I don't want to sit here and you know talk for 10 or 15 minutes about a, a, a textbook that we just got. And so, yeah, we're mostly going to be kind of like a high proof for some of the upcoming exhibits, or not exhibits, but uh, virtual lectures that we're hosting. And yeah, this is pretty much what we hope to be informal-ish and kind of be, you know, the good fluff before uh, a video goes out, uh, you know, the following week. Uh, and I just drew a blank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is what we've tried to do, uh, or we're going to try and, you know, promote our events, promote things that are happening with us. And then uh, I guess we can kind of just jump in with, you know, our new normal. What's, what's that? Uh, so uh, our new normal, we must wear masks, our awesome masks. Um, when you come into the library, we do require that you wear masks. We do have hand sanitizer stations. If you want to use the computers, 
they sanitize all the computers beforehand and right after somebody uses it. So we're trying to stay sanitized everywhere. Um, custodians are always walking around trying to clean things as well. So we're trying to keep everybody safe, not just us, but you guys as well. So it's safe to come in here. Um, you, if you come in groups, you do have to stay six feet apart. You can't talk together at a table. You would have to be in different areas. Sorry about that. And that goes as well for the study rooms. Uh, you can still check out study rooms, but we're only limiting them to one person per room in keeping with the you know, proper social distancing guidelines. Uh, so yeah, if you do need a study room, you're more than welcome to. They're still you know, the same. You check them out for two hours at a time, uh, but you can only use them just the person who requested it. And then uh, when you do come into the library, each library should ask you kind of to sign in. Uh, you know, they'll ask you some questions you know, if you've been exposed to anyone with COVID and um, they'll ask if you would like to uh, add your name to a list for contract contact tracing. Uh, and that's just if you came in contact with anyone, at, if anyone at the library possibly uh, contracted COVID and you were on site, uh, we'd be able to reach out to you and let you know, hey, someone, someone was potentially, potentially exposed and you might be too. And then we can go from there. Uh, that's kind of our, that's kind of the, you know, a lot of places are doing this. Uh, maybe not so much the contact tracing, but, you know, making sure you wear the mask, uh, keeping six feet apart. And, yeah, we know it's, it's annoying at times, but we need to do it. Uh, there's no, there's no two ways about it. Uh, Don't then, worry about the contact tracing. I mean, we're not going to call you and, or prank call you or anything. <laughs> it's only just to inform you if somebody had COVID when you were here, that's it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we just want to make sure that, you know, you stay safe, staff stay safe, uh, your families, and anyone else that you potentially come in contact with. And so moving right along, uh, one of the main things that we're, like I said, wanting to do with this series, or this web series, is that we want to talk about um, upcoming talks that we have with uh, artists, authors, uh, library staff, and we're wanting to at least show that um, we have a we have an upcoming visit and not visit but an up, upcoming lecture uh, from a few people uh, within the library world uh, we have one of our uh, one of our own librarians we have um, someone I forgot his name uh, Andres Sanchez he's a local DJ and political advocate uh, he's been around been around for a while uh, in the music scene. We've also got a graphics designer named uh, I think it's Yunan Yunan Sigler, and then we also have Sadie Hernandez, who's the uh, who's a cultural strategist, and she also works, I believe, for Mujer, movement Mujeres Follow. And then again, we we have our our own librarian from South Texas College. Uh, named Melissa Arjona. Uh, but right before we, I guess, jump into her, we need to take like just like a 20 second water break and then we'll, we'll jump into her. So if you can just, you know, maybe just give us like just a second just and then just, just a second. Okay. Thanks. And we're back. So how was that? <clears throat> I want to welcome our guest, Melissa Arjona. Uh, she should appear on the screen now. Uh, and so Melissa, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry you had to see that. You know, I'm sure everything's professional and fine. 
Of course. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Should so, I read her blurb? Yeah, can you <clears throat> introduce our guests more formally than I just did? Yes. I just kind of butchered that. <laughs> Melissa Arjona is a librarian and community activist who co-founded South Texas Texans for Reproductive Justice in 2014. She loves coffee, books, quilts, and solo travel. Welcome, Melissa. Hey, thanks. <laughs> well, you want to tell us a little bit about the uh, uh, organization that you started and what brought it about, or you know what what led you to start this. I don't know if maybe it was just you were bored one day or you were just <laughs> you, you saw it in, injustice and you wanted to grab it by the reins or uh, mm -hmm. and just try and make better for the for the Rio Grande Valley or I don't know, maybe it was entirely selfish reasons. I don't, I don't know. I'll be above that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. That's good. Uh, so yeah, basically in like 2013, 2014, Texas passed a law um, that shut down like half the abortion clinics in the state. And uh, we had two in the RGB. Now we have one, only one was able to bounce back. Um, but basically when those closed, if you're undocumented, if you don't have money to like get to San Antonio, which is the next closest clinic, and you can't cross the checkpoint, then basically you can't you know, access healthcare. Um, so yeah, basically that's what started it. The law went to all the way to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court shot it down and that's why we now have our clinics back or I'm assuming it's back. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that in a nutshell. Okay, that's pretty pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I had a question and I just, I lost it like while you were talking. So this is, like I said, very, very professional. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, so the law passed um, to kind of restrict our, you know, women's access to abortion services and, uh, you know, mostly also like pregnancy care right mm -hmm. uh, yeah and I know it's it's always a very hot button issue and I know this is all uh, I guess this is also going to be I don't know how big a part this is going to play like with the upcoming election I know we just had you know Ruth Bader Ginsburg just passed away and, yeah. uh, our, the president's you know nominee is kind of like a little polar opposite of her and so this, you know, the overturning potential of Roe versus Wade could be a very much a, an issue that your organization could get involved in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for years now, we've kind of been planning for this scenario. So yeah, I mean, we're kind of expecting Roe v. Wade to like be completely gutted in the next few years. So yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how it's, it's a tough fight, I guess, to be continually pushing for something. And uh, you have, you know, judges or elected officials just kind of, you know, just slap that down because it doesn't fit their agendas or anything like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Ana, do you have any questions? I feel like I'm just kind of running this and you're just sitting there like. <laughs> It's hard for me to get in, you know, <laughs> um, but you've always been interested in like women's history and, um, you know, justice and all that stuff because you do have a master's, right, mm -hmm. uh, in women's history? Yeah. Yeah. So I went to Sarah Lawrence for grad school. Um, in undergrad, I was like, I started like a feminist group on campus. So yeah, I have like <laughs> in that area. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So. In Sarah Lawrence, when you were doing your master's, did you do anything like over there besides your bachelor's? Because you did the uh, feminist group when you were doing your bachelor's, right? Mm -hmm. Did you do anything while you're doing your master's? Um, at Sarah Lawrence, not really. I was like involved mostly with animals, like animal rescue. <laughs> oh, okay. I worked, like I worked at the ASPCA in Manhattan, so I don't know if you ever watched like Animal Cops back in the day. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I actually did. like know those people. <laughs> So uh, like, I was like, the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's cool. So yeah, I would like protest like the carriage horses in Central Park and stuff. <laughs> I just like protesting guys. I don't know. <laughs> it, it seems like you really like being, you know, what is it, a, a rabble rouser? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that's it's, it's interesting. It's someone someone's got to do it, and I don't have the heart for it because I just be like, I just be like so distraught all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to keep focus on anything. I would just, yeah, I could not keep my composure or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, I think it would be difficult for me. Um, I just, I get distracted really easily. And then I get, like, worry, I don't know, something's going to happen. Like I'm going to protest and walk into traffic or something, you know, it's just <laughs> something weird along those lines. It happens. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, no, poof. And, yeah. yeah, it happens, happens to the best of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> But that's cool. Thank you for, you know, speaking out and doing your part on that. Uh, so are you able to talk a little bit about um, about the upcoming talk that you're involved with? It's, um, we, it's, we know it's, it's, you know, mostly dealing with the uh, upcoming election. Um, but are you able to at least give us maybe a little more insight about what you and the um, you know, other hosts talked about or something that can kind of, you know, help paint a picture for people that are, you know, I, I would hope uh, watch this, uh, watch this video that's releasing on Thursday at 3 p.m., okay. I think. And then um, I don't know if there's still going to be a, uh, a live Q&A afterward. I can't remember off the top of my head. I for that. Okay. Uh, and right now, I mean, you can't see it, but I am uh, actually. Let's let's try and screen share real quick. That way, you can you can talk about the about this event and how to find it. So y'all should see a window come up. That's uh, the library's website. I hope y'all can. And then, okay, so so. If, Find it. Um, we're here on the library's website, and the address is uh, library.southtexascollege.edu. <clears throat> and to find it, uh, you're going to come down here to our little carousel of events and blog posts. It should be one of the very first ones. And we're going to click on Transforming Our World. And here you can find uh, the information about the series. Uh, the guests that are going to be speaking on this and then uh we'll also be it's going to be a live premiere on youtube so this was already pre-taped uh, but this will show up um and start at about 3:29 or 3:30 or 3 yeah i'm sorry i keep getting my time and stuff it'll probably start like at 2:59 the countdown and then at three it should go live and then also you're going to find some resources about our research guide and the election guide, uh, our elections research guide, uh, that will talk about these kind of issues. And let me stop the screen share because I, I realized I totally just took all your, all your thunder. And <laughs> just, yeah, I'm, I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what's what can you tell us about this this uh, talk that I just totally took everything from you? Thanks, William. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, we're done. We're done. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why we, we invited you. <laughs> um, well, it was a really cool talk. It's like different people, you know, everyone has different backgrounds, but it's mostly on like how art is used in elections or how artists can use their work to promote you know different issues and um i talked about well strj but also about like here in the library how we use have the library displays and how art is used for that um and then yeah just like different things that students can do to kind of get their foot in the door and like their art you know for community service like that. okay and um, i haven't i haven't watched it yet so I will on Thursday, but I did hear it got, I don't know if it got like spicy, but uh, we all talked about you know, so, some hot button topics. And so okay. hopefully that'll, that'll have some people interested enough to go and look at it mm -hmm. uh, and, and partic well, I don't know about, participate in the Q&A that's going to happen afterward. 
Mm -hmm. Oh. Are you participating in the Q&A or who's doing that? Yeah, I'll be here. I think all of us are going to join in. And how long will it be? Um, I think it's like 15 minutes. Yeah, it's like it's right after like you end, we're just going to Q&A. Oh, OK. Yeah. yeah, we were, uh, I was going over with Gina Odvis, our art gallery coordinator, because she's the one who uh, put this together. We're trying to figure out how it's going to, how it's going to work. Uh, I think we have that figured out and what we're going to do. So I think we're shooting for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. 30 at the most, if there's a lot of participation. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. But uh, hopefully there, there'll be a bunch of people asking questions. <laughs> I, I hope so. I think I think if you really want people to participate, you should just flat out say something like objectively wrong <laughs> just to get like emotions up and then they'll like <laughs> not think we right. want people raging here. Yeah, we <laughs> want, we, <laughs> I know. No, we need we need that emotional <laughs> emotional baggage to join us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, it debuts or premieres Thursday, this Thursday, October 1st at 3 o'clock, at 3.30, not 2.30 because I keep on, I, I can't talk right now apparently. And then... Wait, what time is it at? It's at 9 p.m. <laughs> You're going to confuse everybody. <laughs> it's, at, it's at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> There you go. So if you're on the East Coast. Because, oh, <laughs> you know, we have a lot of East Coast viewers. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. <laughs> we have, you know, all of Melissa's, you know, crew in New York. Yeah. That might be tuning in. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a few kittens here and there who remember. Exactly. They'll, they'll join the Zoom call. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so. Yeah, I want to. Thing. I think that's such really all we got. I don't know where else we can take this. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we. this is our first episode. Who knows if it'll be the last two. <laughs> Looking that way. <laughs> uh, so we had a good run. Thank you, Melissa, for being our one and only guinea pig. <laughs> you were the best. <laughs> You're the best. You're the best that we ever had. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, I just want to close it out and say thank you uh, for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, I want to I want to thank Anna and myself for putting this together. I want to thank I want to thank all the little people who helped us, who believed in us, and you know encouraged us to push this. And Anna, do you have any plugs? Because I don't. I mean, you said it all, really. Yeah, I just, <laughs> just... I, like, I just think I need to stop talking because. My brain is going at like 100 <laughs> miles an hour and my mouth is going like a 20. And so it's kind of like, why am I speaking? But I can't stop. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> it does happen a lot. But yes, thank you, Melissa, for being our one and only participant. You were the best. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed this one episode. <laughs> yep. Oh. <laughs> um. Actually, to, to end on a, a better note than we just did, um, <laughs> yeah, we have this, the upcoming election talk on Thursday. Next week, we also have a, another, uh, another talk about, uh, it's still part of the Transforming Our World uh, series, but this one's going to be uh, through poetry, and it's also going to be... Um, with a political political theme. And so we're going to have a couple of um, uh, library staff who are going to be running that workshop. And I, I really don't know what's going to happen there. I guess we're going to, we're going to try and talk to them next week before their talk uh, airs. Hopefully we hopefully, can. Hopefully we can. <laughs> you know, assuming this episode ever sees a lot of day. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> And then, <laughs> yeah, so their talk is also going to be next week. I, I can't remember the time off the top of my head. I think it's at 3 as well. Uh, yeah, I just looked at the website. It's at 3. 
on next Thursday, October the 8th. And so I think we're going to be trying to do something uh, at least once a month for the next, few, at least until December. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to check out more of what we, what we're going to be doing, any upcoming exhibits, uh, you can visit our library website at South Texas College, like library.southtexascollege.edu. <laughs> there, just nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm going to stop talking now and thanks Melissa for joining us <laughs> and thank you all. We'll s hopefully see you next week. <laughs> Your guess is as good as ours. <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a good one, everyone. <laughs>